Hello and welcome. I'm working in my sketchbook today and I don't know if it's just me but sometimes figuring out what to actually draw in your sketchbook is part of the problem. I found the most success in having a sketchbook with a theme and this particular sketchbook has the theme of the alphabet. I'll pop a link in the top corner to a, another video which is the first in this series which tells you a little bit more about how and why my sketchbook is set up this way but essentially there is a page for each letter of the alphabet and the page I'm working on today is the S page and I decided that S would be for shoes. Apparently, the most popular type of shoe, if you pop the word into Google, is sneakers or trainers, whatever you might call them. And so those tended to be the first ones that I've popped into my page here. And as you may have gathered, I don't exactly have a plan, but when I put in the first little pair of feet from the top left-hand corner there, I thought it would be quite nice to have legs kind of pointing in from all sorts of angles. And then it occurred to me that just feet tell quite interesting stories. And the story here is of a couple. And I have to say, the foot on that lady wearing those lovely high heels has given me the devil of a problem. And I have sketched over and over and over it. And I'm still not sure I've got it right. But I'm moving on because that is rather frustrating. So I don't think I could do a page of shoes without including ballet shoes, because is there a prettier shoe than that? I don't think so. So I've got a little pair of dainty ballerina feet for the right hand corner, and I can't wait to put some lovely pink into those. Shoes are actually really fun to draw. If you're looking for what to draw in your sketchbook today, how about this as a suggestion? And one, another one of my favourites is these kind of shoes that you would wear to the beach. They do remind me of a story of when I first moved to Australia and a mum was telling me, a fellow mum from school, was telling me how her mother-in-law uh, had injured herself because she had been washing windows in only thongs. Well, the imagination being what it was, my mind's eye had already constructed the image of an elderly lady with a bucket of soapy water up a ladder in nothing but racy underwear. Gosh, I thought, they do do things differently in Australia. In fact, they don't do things differently at all. Uh, thongs are what Australians call this type of shoes. Uh, in When I lived in Africa, we would have called them slops and in England I think we would have called them flip-flops but whatever you call them they're not the best choice of footwear if you are climbing ladders. Now I know you tender-hearted souls are going to be worried about her so I must let you know that the lady in question was first of all not that elderly at all and although she twisted her ankle she was perfectly fine in the end. Now those thongs you might have noticed that I had drawn earlier not tiny underpants at all as I knew them, uh, but those types of shoes that you can slip on had to move over because as I mentioned before, I'm not working with a perfect, perfectly calculated plan here, but I did decide that I wanted to draw those lovely stiletto heels, so I needed to move over the beach shoes. And since I've drawn a more successful pair of heels in the bottom right hand corner, I can't help but try and go back and fix the couple at the top because it's to do with those proportions and angles that I was not quite getting right. I'm still not sure I've done it, but eventually it's just a sketchbook page. I'm going to have to accept that it is what it is and move along. Now it's time to add some colour and if you're wondering what that strange palette is check out the video in the card. I'll put a link up in that top right hand corner. Um, it's a type of very transportable watercolour. Uh, you can see mine's had a bit of an accident and the video I mentioned will tell you all about that but it's quite a, a fun thing to use although I have to be honest I was finding it a little bit frustrating here. Um, I've got to work on a flesh colour and I had to actually mix one up there because the, the while this palette did come with a flesh tint as it was described 
Uh, I think that's really, they must have been talking about Oompa Loompas because it was not a very convincing flesh tint in my opinion. So I had to mix in a little bit of purple, otherwise I was in danger of having bright orange feet all over the place. I do have a lovely rainbow to choose from there, so I'm going to really enjoy putting in the rest of the colours into this page and I think that is where I will have a little bit more of a plan to try and tie the page together with some common colours. And those little sneakers at the top they were actually white so all I want to do is put in a little bit of shadow which gives me a chance to put in my always favourite purple which is a colour that I will definitely be carrying throughout the rest of this page. Now I think these wedges are cork or something like that so I'm considering whether I will go back in with some coloured pencil at the end and add some texture. See the advantage of having mixed media paper in your uh, sketchbook is that you're not limited and you can kind of make it up as you go along and add whatever materials seem to suit you. But that splash of hot pink on those shoes made me so happy I had to choose something similar for the stilettos and these turned out to be my favourite shoes on the whole page I think. Uh, so that was a surprisingly um, vibrant red which I really enjoyed popping in there. Now let's see what I can do about those um, shoes at the top there, the, the ladies feet that were giving me so much trouble. If the red stilettos are my favourite I think this little couple up there are definitely my least favourite and once I've decided I don't like them, I seem to be having more and more of a problem actually working on them. So I'm trying not to neglect them because I want the page to look like each bit of it was given uh, an equal amount of attention. But I'm not overthinking it because after all, it's just a sketchbook I'm just playing. And if I had uh, Oompa Loompa legs, I had neon pink ballerina legs. You see, I don't use this palette very often, so I'm not exactly as familiar with the colours as I might be. So the when that hot pink went in, it was a little bit of a surprise, but the way I chose to try and neutralise it a bit was to take a wash of light green. Um, and I haven't completely taken leave of my senses there. I chose the green over the top of the pink because red and green are opposite each other on the colour wheel. And if you want to neutralise a colour, you can add a little bit of its opposite on the colour wheel and that should tone it down. So I think that did work a little bit on the top there, but I must be honest, by the time I was finished I didn't care so much that they were bright pink. Uh, and all that's left to do is to add that red colour to the last little bunch of feet that I hadn't filled in, which are those basketball shoes on the left there. So I, while I like the idea of those feet dangling in, I also can't help myself adding a little bit of grounding shadow here and there. And what colour could I possibly choose other than my favourite purple? It's also an opportunity to kind of link all of those uh, together. Now I couldn't resist coming back with my coloured pencil and again that's a chance for me to try and calm down that vibrant pink ballet shoe. Um, but I did find, you, you probably can't see it on the video here, that the texture on the page was showing through when I added the coloured pencil and I wasn't loving that so much so um, putting in details with coloured pencil is a bit addictive and you can end up really overdoing it but I think because I wasn't enjoying the texture that I was getting on the slightly textured surface of this page uh, that I stopped after a while. Uh, this is the other thing with these sketchbook pages, if you've got time to kill this is a great thing to do because it's the sort of thing that you can just keep adding and adding and adding to. I could, if you're into lettering, you could create a page like this and then add some lettering in some of those white spaces. Um, you could add little doodles and fill up spaces or you could just go ahead and fill up yet another page with shoes because to be honest there's such a different variety and so many that you could have a go at. Uh, if you're looking for ways to fill up your sketchbook this just might be the thing for you. And if you're looking for a few more sketchbook ideas Here's some of my other series that might get you inspired. I've got some teeny tiny fairies in a very small sketchbook. And if you're not into drawing people, what about a relaxing mandala or two?
Thanks for watching. See you next time.